Hey there this is Chetan and welcome to CRNT Designers. This is another Blender modeling tutorial. You will get the lighting process of this model on our Instagram page. Links in the description. So without further ado, let's get started. To create this design, you need to add cylinder with the 32 words. Then you need to scale the cylinder along the z axis as like this. And then go to the edit mode, select this top and bottom face and then control B and then add bevel on it. You need to add 5 to 6 segment bevel and give the proper bevel width. Then you need to select this top and bottom faces and you need to delete them in this way. Now you need to add few loop cuts like this. Then select the faces and we want to create the detail for these faces. So that's why select these faces so you will get guide. Then select these words and then double tap G for the H slide and take it little bit down as like this. Then one more time select the words and use the H slide and create that curved structure. Then select everything and then mesh, symmetrize, take the symmetry along the Z axis in this way. Then here also you need to use the H slide to give the right position to the words. Then select the faces with the shortest path selection and use the insert operation. Now just adjust the position of the words a little bit with the H slide. Then you can select everything and then take the symmetry along the Z axis. After that select these faces and then delete them. And you will get this kind of design, means this kind of cutout. Now you need to select the face loop like this and then delete these faces. Then you can select these faces and then delete them. And now you can select everything and make sure you transform pivot point to the 3D cursor and you can rotate like this and you can take the replica. So we are going to do that later on. Now just work on it. Now you need to select everything and E to extrude it and extrude it along its normal and give the proper offset amount. Then you can select this face loop and delete it. Just add one loop cut at here then select this face loop and then extrude it along its normal as like this and take it out little bit. Now that's look good. Now you need to press the control to add the subdivision surface modifier on it. And then you can shade smooth it. Then you can add bunch of loop cuts to maintain the good form and structure of the model. Now you can see that's look good. Turn on your extra mode and now you need to select the faces in this way. And then press P for the selection to make it different object. We want to cut outs on the model so that's why we need to separate them. And we will get these two different objects. Now you need to create the right topology for them. And you need to fill the gaps. So just isolate one of them. And start to fill the gap. So select these edges and then press F to fill the gap. You can select that whole edge ring and then press F to fill the gap. Then select these words and then right click connect vertex path. And now you need to create the right topology at here. And which is very easy. You need to just create the proper edge flow and proper topology as like this. So you can watch the process at here. And you need to add more supportive loop cuts on the model to maintain this form. Then you can select these words and then right click connect vertex path and create that loop structure add there. Which is very easy and we use this kind of loop structure in our modeling. You can see that loop. Then select everything and then mesh symmetrize take the symmetry along the z axis and x axis. And similar kind of thing I did for the another part. For this part also you need to do the same thing. You need to fill the gaps and you need to create the right topology. You can hide that bottom part and you can start to work on this top part. That's why the speed is little bit fast. Easily you can do this thing. And now you can see that's look good. 
make sure you keep the same distance for the loop cuts of both parts then you can take the symmetry along the z axis and x axis and now you can see we got those cutouts on the model which looks really well so we got this one part for the whole model and now just we need to take the repetitions and duplicates of it so you can select everything and shift it to duplicate it and rotate it into the 90 degree and complete that circle structure then you can select one of the part and then select everything and then press M and merge by distance so double words will get merged and now you can see we are getting the smooth shading from the outer side but you can see little bit of weird effect from the inner side you can see some of the words are not properly merged at here from the inside so that's why we need to merge them manually so you can turn on your extra mode and you can select the words then press M and merge at the center so you can avoid that weird shading weird hard effect it is also very easy and now you can see we are getting the smooth shading from the inside also so same thing we need to repeat for the another sides also so we will get the smooth shading and now we are getting the smooth shading for the top part and bottom part that first part and now we need to do the same thing for this part also so now you need to select everything and then press M and merge by distance double words will get merged but we are facing the same kind of weird effect from the inner side so here also we need to merge the words manually by using the merge at the center so just need to select the words and then press M and merge at the center and easily you can merge these words Then you can select this part and delete it. Then you can just shift it to duplicate it and then rotate it and create that remaining part. Easily you can do this. And now you can see we got this kind of part at here. It looks really well. Then select these edges and then right click breach edge loop and then fill this gap. Just create a little bit of tapper form at there and then take the symmetry along the Z axis. Now you can see this looks really well. In this way you can create this kind of cage or outer part for the any cylindrical form. Then just need to check the face orientation and recalculate the normal. If it's wrong then. We have got the decent looking shading on the model and decent structure form which looks really well. You can create n number of variety in this design. It's totally depend on you. Now just I want to create a few booleans so before that apply the scale then select these faces and then use the insert operation and then loop tool circle option. Adjust the scale and use the insert operation one more time and then delete the faces. Then select these edge loops and then right click bridge edge loop to fill the gap and create a decent looking boolean details at there and easily you can do this thing. And now you can see it looks really well. Now just I need to create the inner part of the model. So I'm just creating the simple inner part of the model. A simple cylindrical form. And just try to match the proper size for both parts so it will look good. And easily you can create that. I'm just trying to create the decent looking hard surface asset with this model. And now just I'm using my hard surface kit bash to add few details on it.
and you can see in this way you can create this kind of model so that's it for today thanks for watching if you like this tutorial then hit that like button and subscribe our youtube channel bye bye so next video take care